I'd like to begin by congratulating you on making it all the way here. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. <laughs> Funny. I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Toval Rondonor of the Bracer Guild, yes? One of Sarah's co-workers. Wow, you've actually heard of me? Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kinda surprising to see you with the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so that we could establish a base. We wouldn't be here now if not for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good, quick judgments is still intact. Reorganizing the divided divisions was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about His Excellency and what was happening in the capital. But he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh. My, my apologies, Captain. I'd almost forgotten that she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated. And by none other than Crow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Where's Instructor Neidhart anyway? I thought he would be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to this division, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago. But then he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soul dots, which evens the odds, but we're at a disadvantage when it comes to supplies. True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's gonna be to hold out. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens, as well as the Imperial family, hostage. Even should the Goddess forgive them, I damn well won't! You don't need to yell quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fionn is doing. Yeah, I'm worried about Dad, too. I'm afraid I don't yet have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing all of what we've just discussed in mind, what do you intend to do from here on out? Well... Good question. You don't have the raw power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got, but you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal, and one that neither side can afford to ignore. You need to think long and hard about how you intend to use it. Oh, I agree completely. Valimar's power is incredible, that much is definitely true. These past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soul dots at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, he could maybe even change the direction of this war. Keep in mind, it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance. But... Lieutenant General, I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you do. So in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to decide without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decisions together, 
that's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, and only then, will we decide how best to approach this war, and what we as a class can do to help end it. I see. Once a member of Class 7, always a member of Class 7. <laughs> Can't say I'm all that surprised. Very well. You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of students to absorb the world around them. Go forth, and when you're all together once again, find your role to play. Only then will I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reen. You will hear no objections from me. Whatever path you choose, I hope you see it through to the end with all the inner strength and conviction of a son of Erebonia. That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with him? That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Dad, stop. This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet a hundred Mira of the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, in that case, how would you like me to accompany you? You, Captain? Are you sure? You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. This could be a good chance to reach out and find Milium as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh. Works for me. To be blunt, Ymir's borders are wide open, and the Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. There's a limit to how much we can do. At the end of the day, we're students. We need to swallow our pride and take help where it's given. Especially from specialists like the two of you. And more important than all of that, I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your kind offer. Welcome to the team. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP, I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7.
Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. Oh. You're not in uniform. I'd be something of a walking target if we were to travel to any Alliance-ruled areas dressed like that, after all. This outfit doesn't look too strange on me, does it? No, absolutely not. You just look so different in it that it took me a moment to recognize it was you. <laughs> yeah, it really suits you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Feel like I'm surrounded by horny teenagers all of a sudden. Can't blame a guy for falling for a pretty girl, Fee. It's what we do. I think this is one mystery about humans I'm content not trying to get my head around. You're all ready to depart then? Dead. I've given my subordinates their orders. They will be backing you up as best they can in my absence. Should you need anything, let them know. They will be able to get in contact with me if need be. Very well. Leave everything here to us. In return, I will be counting on you to support the young lions of the Academy. I will, sir. Elliot, I'm astounded by just how much stronger you've become in less than a year. You might not appreciate me saying this, but everything you've done has just confirmed in my mind that sending you to Thor's was the right choice after all. Honestly, Dad, I feel the same way. It wasn't what I wanted to do originally, but if not for enrolling there, I never would have met all of my friends. So while I couldn't imagine I'd ever feel this way at the time, I'm really grateful to you now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Looking at you now, it's clear that you're finally ready to forge your own path through life and make your own choices. As such, once this war is over and this nation is back to the way it was, if you still wish to live your life as a musician, you will have my full support. <gasps> You'd actually allow that? I'm true to my word. You needn't rush to decide what you want to do now, though. I imagine that if you keep fighting alongside your classmates, you will eventually realize what you want to do. And a choice reached after long, serious thought is not one you will regret. Thanks, Dad. To tell you the truth, I'm really not sure what I want to do anymore. But by this war's end, I'm sure I'll know too. That's my boy. Well, I wish all of you luck and good health. Take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye then. The best to you too, sir. Take care, Dad. <laughs>